Hey there, welcome to Mobizium. I'm Ruchi. So after unboxing the Moto C Plus, we played with the device, we tested its features and now we are back with the full review of Moto C Plus, which is an affordable phone and we can call it as a better version of Moto C. Motorola launched Moto C Plus on 20 June 2017. It appears to be a promising budget smartphone. So is it a true value for money smartphone? Let us find out. Plus is priced at roughly 7000 rupees which is slightly lower than the Redmi 4A but both the phones come with the same display attributes and the battery size. This phone offers a 5 inch HD display with 1280 by 720 pixel screen resolution and the pixel density is 294 ppi. The viewing in different light conditions is decent but not very impressive and the same can be said for the color reproduction and attention in details. The frame and the back is made of plastic while the display is protected by a strengthened glass and is a decent scratch resistant. The plastic back has a textured pattern which gives a nice grip. Power button on the right is jacked just like the HTC Uplay and it is textured so that it can be identified easily. The volume rocker is just above it. The headphone jack along with the micro USB port is on the top on either side of the edges which is a bit odd. While over the bottom we have a microphone along with a small notch to pull out the back cover. At the back the Moto C Plus features an 8 megapixel camera with f2.2 aperture, autofocus and a single LED flash. While the front features a 2 megapixel selfie shooter with f2.8 aperture and an LED flash. Video recording can be done at 720p at the rate 30 fps. The camera doesn't support HD modes and the playback of ultra HD videos are also not supported. So in our experience the images were quite noisy in low light. Considering the price tag, don't expect too much from this phone because this phone lacks the basic sensors like the ambient light sensor, gyroscope and proximity sensor. It only ships with an accelerometer sensor so yes there's a big compromise on this end. The phone supports OTG but it does not have a fingerprint reader so you have to rely on pattern and pin for security. Coming to the battery, the bigger battery is key aspect of any phone and this phone packs a large 4000 mAh battery which is kind of massive for the price range it comes with and it can definitely last you a day or two. The only thing good about this phone apart from the battery is the fact that it comes with Android Nougat 7.0 out of the box. It runs on MediaTek processor with 2GB RAM, 16GB internal storage and it supports expandable storage of 32GB. If security is a key issue for you then there's a good news because this phone comes with the latest security patches. Now coming to the conclusion, the Moto C Plus is a competent entry level smartphone which offers big battery, significant display and the latest Android operating system. At this price range the only drawback is that the front camera which is of 2 megapixel and it does not contain the fingerprint reader. Though the smartphone will create no issues with the performance like you can easily manage the multitasking and can take decent pictures with the rear camera and your day to day requirements will be easily catered by the Moto C Plus. So this phone is for the users who simply wants to upgrade to a smartphone. You cannot expect anything extraordinary from this phone but still it is a good alternative to Redmi 4A. Though this phone is a bit more priced than the Moto C but still it is one of the cheapest Android phone you can buy with 8 megapixel rear camera and the running Android Nougat. So this was it. Thanks for watching and for more details log on to our website mobizium.com. Hit the like button and do subscribe for more reviews on latest smartphones. Thank you.